What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate your support. In today's video, got a really quick one for you. How to find out the exact BPM of any loop that you're working with in Personas Studio One. Okay, so in order to do this, you need to have a loop that essentially, you need to know that it's loopable and that the loop plays properly. So this could be a one bar loop, two bar loop, could be a four bar loop that you chop from a record, but essentially you need to know that it loops on its own properly if you just set a duration around that. And the way we do that in Studio One is by selecting the event and using Shift P and that will set the in point and the out point of your loop at the exact boundaries of the audio event. So as long as it loops like that, you're good to go for this workflow. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to select a track. And then if you open up the inspector under where it says tempo, where we have time stretch over here, you want to make sure this is set to don't follow. Now, the next step is if you don't already have it enabled, you want to make sure that snapping is engaged. And then last but not least, we are going to open up our tempo track. Now, this whole entire workflow kind of relies upon two things. First of all, you need to know the duration, how many bars that the loop is. So let's have a quick listen to this. Four, two, three, and... Okay, so at the very end of this, that would be bar five. Now, the next thing is it's kind of uh, making sure that you hold down the proper modifiers in the proper sequence. So if I hover my cursor over bar five over here, this is the boundary that essentially we need to make sure that this bar five is residing at the very end here. So if we hold down our cursor and I hold down command, I'm on a Mac that's command on a PC that would be control. And then we click, but before we drag, if I drag right now, I'm just gonna create a tempo node. And that's not what we want to do. I want to hold down command click and before I drag, I want to hold down the alt or option modifier. Now, when I drag, I'm scaling the tempo. And as soon as I get to the edge of that boundary, it automatically snaps because we have snapping engaged. Now, what this does is this gives us the exact perfect BPM of this loop. So it's basically snapping bar five to the end of this event over here. And then it's dictating that, okay, 104.9974. That is the exact BPM of this loop. So we do shift P, I can enable this loop and let's go back and let's test it out. My click track. So that's how you set the exact BPM for any loop. It's called tempo scaling, and it's just really a sequence of holding down the proper modifiers. But like I said, the two things you need to make sure is that you're set to don't follow and that your snapping is enabled. And then after that, just making sure that you hold down the right modifier keys and you're good to go. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.